immigrant to ally, my tea to read to your Waitangi journey. This is from Elizabeth Feltz, University of Auckland Library. Tutu Mahurenga. Elizabeth is a research services advisor within Tutu Mahurenga Libraries and Learning Services. She graduated with a PhD in ancient history in 2019 and is passionate about research and, and equity. She's worked at Te Tuma Hiranga since 2020 and has been a research services advisor since 2021. So we're ready to roll that. Tenakoto Katoa. Ko Afrika Kitatonga Tefenoa O Oku Tipuna. Ko Table Mountain Tamonga. Ko Table Bay to Moana. Ko Liz Elts Toko Noa. Noreda Tenakoto 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 Katoa. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today at uh, the RSC Day 2022. It's great to see you all here. Today I would like to just do a very brief and very informal presentation. I would like to share with you the story of my personal Tetiriti o Waitangi journey. Before I really get into it, I must say that I am not here in any way to speak on behalf of Tongata Whenua. Their stories are theirs to tell. I'm not going to appropriate them. This is purely my own story. I am Pākehā and I am on my own journey of learning and discovery in this space. So, as I mentioned in my pepeha, I'm originally from South Africa. I immigrated to New Zealand about 15 years ago now. As a new immigrant to Aotearoa, New Zealand, I was thrilled to be here. But, and this is not to cast aspersions on my fellow South Africans, but I think that I was a fairly typical South African immigrant at that stage. I knew nothing about this country, its history, its heritage, or its people, really. To my shame as well, I didn't really bother to learn anything more about it for some time. This attitude only really changed when I started working at the University of Auckland Library to Heringa. As part of our professional development plan at Tutumu Heringa, which is called Tupu, all staff are expected to demonstrate ongoing learning around Te Ao Māori and around Te Tiriti or Waitangi in particular. I started doing readings and online workshops that covered these topics, but pretty begrudgingly, to be honest, it was something I had to do. However, as I started to learn more, this is where a switch flipped in my mind. As I learned more about the Declaration of Independence, which was signed in 1835 and never revoked, and about Titiriti o Waitangi, which was signed in 1840, and as I learned more about the discrepancies between the Maori version of this document and the English version of this document, and how interpretations of those documents and their variations were manipulated by Pākehā over the years to benefit themselves, and then the subsequent oppression of all things Māori on top of that, the essential outrageous unfairness of it all really hit me. And all of that has harmful ongoing consequences today, right? Pākehā were meant to and are meant to partner with Māori, and the historical dishonouring of this agreement really bothers me. So, to continue with my learning journey, I have also joined the Tetiriti Action Ropu at the library at Tumuherenga, which is a team that undertakes concrete actions to engage with Tetiriti in a meaningful and partnering way with Māori. Under the guidance of our Kai Fakahaire, Simon Essling, and Tutumu Heringa's amazing kairahi, Abigail McClatchy, the Tetiriti Action Ropo is deepening my insights into what I can do as a Pākehā and a new New Zealander to partner with Māori in redressing historical offences and improve our futures together. I can now appreciate the importance of engaging with Māori history, language and heritage in a non-appropriative way. While I am Tau Iwi, to Iwi, I am ideally positioned in my professional roles at Tutumu Heringa to make a difference. 
I am inspired to do as much as I can to effectively partner with Tangata Whenua and uphold my small part of Tatiriti or Waitangi as best I can, and would encourage everybody else to do the same. Kia ora. Thanks, Liz. Um, just another note, if anybody's got any questions to Liz uh, about her Te Tiriti or Waitangi journey, you can pop them in the Padlet or you can pop them in the chat and we can address them. Um, Liz's uh, little lightning talk was the last of the recorded lightning talks. The next two are going to be live presentations. Um, I'll just check the Padlet again. I just realized something while I was watching myself, um, just going back to what Susie said earlier on about telling people a step, step by step, because not everybody has the same knowledge as you. I just realized I completely forgot to mention that Te Tiriti o Waitangi is like the founding document of the New Zealand government. And this is why it's important. <laughs> Here's a question that's come through. If you were to give advice to someone on a similar journey to you, what would that be? Oh, that's a good one. I think my biggest piece of advice would be be open-minded don't assume that you know all the answers already and that it doesn't apply to you um, if you are in New Zealand and if you are part of the society in New Zealand I definitely think that you need to be cognizant of the meaning of totality and how how it influences everything in New Zealand society I mean, the University of Auckland says that uh, Tatiriti underpins everything that we do, but I think Tatiriti underpins everything that happens in New Zealand. 